Spider-Man. Hey, MC Bohun42, and welcome back to the channel. Today on the channel, we have a comparison video of the Marvel's Vulture. It's a Target exclusive. This is a repackaged re-release with some upgraded features uh, compared to the old Build a Figure uh, figure that we got with the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. So we're going to compare the two and see is it worth your money to uh, invest in upgrading this figure. For you inbox collectors, we have the standard deluxe Marvel Legends packaging. Uh, inside the clamshell here, you can see the accessories. He comes with the arm braces, uh, looks like uh, hand controls, and then the, the wings are on the inside. You have the art deco of the vulture on the outside. You have a small write-up and some pictures on the back and the same deco on the other side. So the first thing we'll look at is the accessories. These are the arm braces that came with the vulture figure. And they used a really nice uh, gold paint application here to, to accent off of this, uh, this metal uh, brace and give it um, a really nice contrasting color. And then you have the two handles and the same thing. Like you see the rivets in there, it's a pretty cool touch. And then the arm brace fits easily on the arm. You pop off the hand in goes the arm, and then the hand goes back in. Okay, so looking at the vultures side by side, the big differences are going to be obviously the, the head sculpts. They are not the same. And then the, uh, the paint apps and the legs. The sculpt on the new one is, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously more realistic to the film. Um, the, the visor is removable. It's something that the old one did not have, but um, with between this one, which you know, the build a figure one, which typically are based off of concept pictures, um, you know, they they hit it pretty spot on with the menacing green eyes. Uh, this one delivers a little more of a you know that scary look like he had in the movie, and then the brown coat. I, I would actually give it to to this one being more movie accurate because I remember the brown being like really dark, and this one is more like a you know. Um, a lighter chocolate brown. Uh, the legs, you can tell uh, he's got some really skinny legs. That was one thing about this feed, the, this build a figure I never cared about was how skinny the calves were. I mean, they are like pencil thin. They just looked, I always thought they looked goofy. Um, and then this one, they really, they added, you know, some additional sculpting to kind of fill out his legs a little bit. But other than that, the, the figure is literally the same. For, uh, the torso section anyway with a little bit of uh, different paint apps obviously on the belt buckle but um, other other than that it, it's it is essentially the same figure as for the vulture wings they are identical there is no difference in the deco between them whatsoever with the exception of these turbines one being that uh, that blue and the other one being silver and the blue color um, you know I, I can see how there's mixed feelings about that but in the movie if you can recall that the turbines did glow blue so I could see why they kind of gave it that um, that bluish hue to the uh, to the turbine and then the other big difference is in the original release you if everyone remembers they they were not very stable you couldn't hold it up they would just flap um, very flimsy and with this new one they are not. They actually almost on a ratcheting system to where um, your articulation is way better. So you, you, you know, it would be able to hold poses much easier. For those who are interested, here's the head swap and the gear swap on the old Build-A-Figure. Um, honestly, I actually think I like this look better um, just because I think the dark colors uh, look more accurate to the movie. Um, the legs I do prefer on this one, but, um, even if you just bought this figure for the, the new sculpt and the gear, I think that this one works really well. All right. So moment of truth, is this figure worth your money carrying a $41.99 price tag on target.com? I'm going to say no. Um, for $41.99, we're essentially getting the same figure that we already got with just a new head sculpt and a few accessories. If it came with the Michael Keaton head sculpt, I might be able to, to recommend this. But if you guys have this Build-A-Figure here, I think that this was just a great figure. Um, the legs are a little skinny, but um, the, 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 I actually prefer the color combination to, to this updated one. I think this is a little too vibrant. This is kind of 
uh, more accurate. But um, yeah, each collector is just going to have to ask themselves, are you okay with rebuying a figure we already have for the little bit uh, new that we do have? I think now that I do own it, I probably will sell this one to try to recoup some of my lost money. But um, I don't think I can recommend it. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more content. Keep collecting.